how I changed out the monitor on this cabinet. Claire's going to help me with this as I demonstrate what I've done here. So if you want to come around the side here, Claire. So those old tube monitors, they get tired and they wear out and they don't look very good. And Golden T looks best on a high definition display anyway. So, so what I've done here, yank the monitor out. I have fabricated a bracket to hold the TV. So it's just a couple of pieces, furring strips, and then a piece of wood stretching across. And I used a piece of paper to trace the template of the mounting holes on the back of the TV and then laid that paper on top of the wood to drill the holes. Uh, the specific TV that I picked, which is on the floor down there, is a 28 inch LG. It's just a hair too wide to fit in between the sides of the cabinet. So if you take a look at the side of the cabinet, what I had to do here is I had to grab my router and just route a little channel for the TV to sit in on both sides. So actually the TV would probably sit in there without any help at all, but just to make sure it's a nice firm mount, I went ahead and fabricated the backing board too. So basically all I'm doing at this point now is just grabbing the TV and dropping it in the cabinet. Nice tight fit. So I'll take the mounting screws and I'll mount it to that backing board and then the last thing I'll do is I'll take the monitor glass that was in use before, I'll put it in front of the television, mask it off with tape and paper and then I'll spray the areas that are no longer needed to look through, make a, I guess a generic bezel. So, but that's it. Golden Tea looks much better when you put a flat screen TV in.